hi guys it's Kobe here and in today's video we are going to talk about the more instance um, this is going to be um, a continuation of our more graph object menu explanation and we've spoken about clonal matrix fracture and now the next vid the next one we are going to talk about is the more instance so I'll create a more instance and what the more instance basically does is it takes any object that you've animated or any animation of an object and sort of creates uh, instances in history so it basically sort of leaves you like gives you a trial of a trail of your animation i'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate that so i'll create a normal cube right and i'll probably move it here i'm going to animate it so i'll set um keyframe I actually use um auto keyframe actually so i'll set use auto keyframe and i'll move it to frame 30 move it somewhere here and maybe in between here uh, i want it to be up there and somewhere here i i want the skill a bit i want it to be small so that we get variation and probably also the rotation as well right for us to see what's going on see if, if i should play come here oh actually let me reset everything back to um its default so this is the animation we have um, I, we are good for now i'll check take off the uncheck the auto record and now this is the animation we have nothing fancy it's just a cube moving up and scaling and all that so what the more instance does is i'll have to drag the object into the object reference here and it's like an instance object right so i'll drag it in here and now you see it's created it has created an instance for us but if we play nothing happens for now and this because because it's creating an instance this one is on its own so for us for it to recognize the animation in it i'll actually first of all um, delete the cube for it to recognize this animation it means we have to put it in the null object so i'll create a null object i'll make the cube a child of the null object right and now you can drag the null object in the more uh, reference object let's see what happens and i can see it's creating trail for us a trail of the animation that we did and now we can define the number of trails we want so right now it's set to 10 you can reduce it to 5 and I can see we have, we have just five uh, trails and also we can increase it as well and um, it has the elements of the other MoGraph um, object so all of the all of them has individual I think um, rotation and everything but you need to play it for us to see what's going on here you can see it's acting different because we've changed the um, rotation here so I'll set it back to zero so that everything go back to normal so yeah it basically works like you can also affect it with um mograph effectors as well so i can come in here and i'll add them um, a random effector and now you can see it acting randomly so that one too also works can it in here so basically this is all about the more instance fun fact the same thing with the more instance can be achieved with the clone object and the step effector. Uh, so I'll actually hide the more instance for now and let's use this just for fun. So I'll create a more graph clone object and I'll make the knowledge out of it. And you can see it's giving us um, multiple copies. For now, we'll set it to a linear and we set it to zero, right? So we've created multiple copies sitting at the same place. As the so we can control the number of copies with the counts using the linear right we set created multiple copies so now i'll leave it at 10 and now if i hit play you can see we get the same animation so the all we have to do is come to more graph effector and add step to it and now we don't want it to affect the scale for now we can take out the scale and now what we want to affect is the time offset and now you can see we have created the same thing but in this case we have even more control over it um, than the more instance so this is just 
fun fact um, I wanted to add this if you wanted to do something similar I, I feel be best, best using the cloner and the step effector than the moistan the moistan can be great but um, it's a bit rigid and you can do very little with it so this is just a fun fact anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one